There's no freezers years ago, so um, we use coarse salt. Lynn Doolin is from the Lakwalams First Nation near Prince Rupert. She's lived in East Van for almost a decade. Dig my own. But each year, she goes home to harvest traditional foods. It's the food that I travel home to Lakwalams. I go home in May and July to harvest um, seafood. My family is uh, big seafood harvesters, and it, it gets us through the winter, um, so we don't rely too much on going to the grocery store. In previous years, Doolin would return with just enough to share with family or for special occasions that called for traditional food. She says the rising cost of food in the grocery store is forcing her to rely more on her traditional foods to offset costs. So expensive. I, I went to the grocery store a couple of days ago and it was almost a $600 bill and barely seen anything in my freezer or my fridge and, or my cupboards. And it was like, wow. It's, it's crazy. Doolin's finding herself in a catch-22 situation. She's gathering food to save money, but the cost of getting that access is rising ever higher. Traveling to harvest salmon, shellfish, seaweed, and more, getting tougher to pull off. Um, I'm looking to 2023, I'm hoping, you know, because the sockeye is not guaranteed every year. And um, so I, I kind of got to stretch it, I've, I've got to be mindful to um, not take it for granted that I do have it and because sockeye might not show up in 2023 and then I won't have any seafood for, for the winter next year. Sharing food is an important Indigenous cultural practice, but necessity means that Doolin will be forced to keep what she gathers for herself and for her immediate family. I was generous, you know, like sharing with family and friends, but I don't think I can do that now because I have to save it for my family. Doolin says Indigenous people don't have the same ability to collect traditional food in an urban centre. However, those foods are what make up her identity as a Lakwalams person, and going without, simply not an option. The biggest thing that we need to remember is that for Indigenous peoples, food is not just calorie or nutrition, but food is identity, food is the land. And so when all of that is in combination together, um, that food preservation method is, is more than just value added process. It's more than just kind of lengthening the shelf life, but it's a way to preserve their identity. It, it's a way for them to ensure their food sovereignty. And at the moment, that food sovereignty is is under threat because of rising inflation, because of lack of land access, um, and also because there's a lack of opportunities to actually share these types of knowledges in many different places. We're just not investing enough on Indigenous spaces. Doolin hopes that accessing that food could be done closer to home, that harvesting might be a cultural right in the Vancouver area spread out to the urban Indigenous populations, a way of tackling the rising cost of food and spreading the wealth amongst a population that's especially feeling the pinch. Wamish Hamilton, CBC News, Vancouver.